At Euronaval 2022, Naval Group is sharing its vision of what could be the submarine and underwater environment of the 2040s. To learn more, I am with Thierry Petit, submarine marketing manager at Naval Group and former submarine commander in the French Navy. Thierry, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Good morning, Xavier. It's a pleasure to welcome you on Naval Group stand. So Thierry, please uh, tell us uh, what are you showing here exactly? Yes, uh, so let's dive in the future. Let's go to 2040 and see what our vision in Naval Group will be. At that time, we think that all the surface ships will be detected and tracked everywhere on the surface of the seas. They will be detected by drones, by satellites, by the radars and so on. So everything, the most important thing, will happen underwater. We've seen nowadays that pipelines, internet cables are more and more strategic. So we will have to operate or protect all these strategic systems. Let's have a look at what we think, how will be the seabed at that time. There will be uh, many networks, acoustic boys, sonar boys, passive, active, multi-static, one is speaking with the other uh, sonar boys, for example. These sonar boys will be connected to the networks. It could be civilian networks, internet, oceanic cables, but it could be also specifically de deployed uh, networks. You can also imagine that there will be a docking system for roves or for drones, for example, for charging the energy, for a data transfer, or just a waiting point for the, this kind of a roves. You will always have submarines. For example, new submarines, evolved submarines, like the SMX, which is Naval Group uh, concept uh, submarine, which is digital and full electric submarines. These submarines will be able to, uh, sorry, to launch uh, UVs, medium UVs, for example. This example is a medium UV, the size of uh, heavy torpedoes. These UVs exist nowadays. The very challenge is to launch the UVs and to recover it. Of course, you could also use large UVs, bigger ones, the size of 10 to 15 meters. The idea is the submarine will deploy the, the, these drones and it will increase the efficiency of the submarine. The submarine won't take the risk to go at periscopic depths. It will be, for example, the drones which will go back to periscopic depths for intelligence gathering, for transmission and so on. Of course, the submarine will always do the normal and classical operation from submarines. Intelligence gathering, special forces operations, and delivering torpedoes. In that case, the submarine is delivering an F-21 torpedo, French torpedo. This torpedo will evolve, of course, with more and more artificial intelligence, more and more capacities to, in, to operate close to the, uh, to the very shallow waters and maybe with hard kill systems. Everything of this evolution will depend, of course, of our, the operational needs of our customers. In this world, you still have submarines, normal submarines, classical submarines. The, the Barracuda, which just uh, has been commissioned this year, will be in service for more than 40 years. So this uh, uh, submarine will evolve. What is important in this future is that all our assets will be uh, working together and collaborate. It's not only for a submarine to launch a torpedo guided by an operator. It's the aim is that all the torpedoes can cooperate together, can find their own track, so they will have artificial intelligence and systems able to cooperate, even to cooperate with decoys able to, uh, not, to neutralize uh, an enemy and a very silent submarine. I'm not sure that you have understood everything on this film. What was important was the tactical situation. The system will give you a very clear and easy to understand situation. This is all the, our vision for the future of uh, Naval Group, all the vision for the future, and we have to develop with our customers and depending on their operational needs, all the technologies and the big technologies that they will need for this future. Thank you.